You feel lost in the bedroom. You're disconnected, unsure of your desires, and unable to communicate what you want. The spark that once fueled your passion, it's dimmed, leaving you questioning if something is wrong with you. If this sounds familiar, you are not alone. Many people struggle with understanding their sexual needs, their turn-ons, their desires. And this makes them feel isolated and often inadequate. Disconnected from your erotic nature, you lack a personalized understanding of your specific path to pleasure. Without this crucial knowledge, articulating what you want and like to yourself or your partner, it seems impossible. And this leads to a cycle of frustration, dissatisfaction in your sex life, not getting your needs met, and often leaving you feeling broken and helpless. Well, I want you to imagine being able to communicate effectively with your partner about what brings you pleasure. Misunderstandings and unmet needs, they build walls between you and your partner that make you feel inadequate and shameful. You often feel broken, believing that there's something fundamentally wrong with you because you don't fit the typical sexual blueprint portrayed by society. Well, in this episode of The Multi-Orgasmic Millionaire, we're going to dive into one of my most powerful tools for self-discovery in the realm of sexuality. This is The Erotic Languages, inspired by Jaya's Your Blueprint for Pleasure book. This episode is going to help you uncover what you truly want sexually and why it matters. So to fully appreciate this episode, I want you to start by listening to a prerequisite episode 284. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say erotic languages, go listen to that one first. It's called Reigniting Passion, Decoding Your Erotic Language for Deeper Connection. The link is in the show notes. So this foundational episode is going to introduce the five erotic languages, giving you a synopsis that can help you identify which language resonates with you the most. And then once you've gained that initial understanding, you can return here to delve deeper. So enjoy the show, Hot Mamas. Welcome to the Multi-Orgasmic Millionaire Podcast, where sexual liberation meets financial empowerment. Join me, Tilly Storm, top 20 sex coach worldwide, on my own journey to becoming a multi-orgasmic millionaire through the mystical art of sex magic, financial savvy, and guidance from my very own mystical Yoni Oracle. I'm going to reveal how I'm turning orgasms into cold, hard cash. Get ready to dive deep and discover the secrets to living a life of abundance on your own multi-orgasmic terms. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Multi-Orgasmic Millionaire. And today we're talking about the erotic languages again. This is one of my favorite subjects. Why? Because it's one of the most powerful, simple, and impactful concepts to give a person to help them really discover who they are as an erotic being. So this episode is all about discovering what you truly want sexually through the power of the erotic languages. There are actually five ways that the erotic languages help you discover what you want and like sexually. So if you're someone who feels really disconnected, you're not sure, maybe you've never given yourself the opportunity to explore. The first way that the erotic languages is going to help you figure that out is that it gives you a personalized understanding of what your turn-ons are and what types of touch, what types of words are said, ways to communicate about sex, what types of experiences are actually going to elicit pleasure for you. So many people are turned on by different things. How do you know what you're turned on by without exploring many of those things? So exploring is obviously part of the puzzle and how you figure this all out. But once you do, you come out with a personalized understanding of your specific map to turn on. And this knowledge is obviously going to help you articulate your desires more clearly, not only to yourself, but to your partner. So that leads me to the second way that your erotic language helps you discover what you want and like sexually. Well, it gives you the language to communicate effectively with your partner. Because armed with this powerful understanding of what turns you on, you can now share the specifics, the details about what you enjoy and what you don't and what you need in order to experience turn on and what your stacking is. So this idea of stacking is that we all have a core erotic language. So 
one where we really need our turn-ons met through the core language first until the other languages come out to play, okay? So, for example, if you are a sexual erotic language, you really enjoy genital stimulation, you really enjoy visuals, explicit sexuality, you're likely able to go from zero to 60 in no time flat, and it's always about getting you to orgasm for most sexuals. So, Let's say you're a sexual erotic language, but you also have an energetic side. But maybe if your partner was to approach you through the energetic lens first, it wouldn't do anything for you. This is this is me exactly, right? So if I'm approached through my sexual language first, then my energetic becomes very apparent. And then I really enjoy energetic touches, energetic play, but I don't enjoy the energetic touches and play to start. Does this make sense? So you have to approach your core language first, and then you can move into the other languages. That's what stacking is. Everyone has a stacking. So whatever your core is, is your first language. And then you have a second, a secondary, and a tertiary. And depending on what the order of your stacking is, is kind of the order things need to happen in order for you to experience trauma and pleasure. So this obviously gives you such a vast array of ways to communicate more effectively with your partner than without knowing these things about yourself. The third way that the erotic languages is going to help you explore what you want and like sexually is that it helps you drop the shame or the feelings of inadequacy or limited perceptions around sex and pleasure. This process of discovering your erotic language helps you increase not only your self-awareness about what brings you pleasure, but it helps you to recognize and really embrace your unique path to turn on without feeling a sense of shame or guilt about it or experiencing feeling like you're broken. A lot of energetics and sensuals will often feel like they're broken, sometimes kinkies will as well, and that's because they don't fit that typical, stereotypical sexual blueprint, which is really the only thing that Hollywood ever portrays about sexuality. It, they just assume that we're all sexuals, which is absolutely inaccurate. And therefore, it leaves a lot of us feeling like, well, what's wrong with me? I don't have an orgasm in one minute. I don't experience sex like that. And that thinking can lead to guilt, shame, or fear that something is wrong with you. But when you explore what you want and like through the lens of the erotic language, you actually discover that just because you operate via your specific language that might not be that typical sexual language doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. And therefore, you can just drop the guilt and the shame about whatever you perceived was wrong. Very, very powerful to be able to do that. So real quick, if this is something that you're like, oh my gosh, this is super interesting, tell me more, then I want to real quick invite you to book a erotic language assessment call with me. You can find the link in the show notes. And in that erotic language assessment call, we're going to discover what your primary route to turn on is. And we're going to uncover answers and insights about your unique path to pleasure. So head to the link in the show notes, book the call, and let's continue on. So the fourth way that erotic languages are going to help you discover what you want and like sexually is it's going to boost your sexual confidence. Heck yes. Heck yes. Heck yes. Because having a clear understanding of your sexual preferences is going to make you feel empowered, which is going to make you feel more confident in the bedroom. You feel more empowered to initiate. You feel more empowered to engage in sexual activities that really align with your desires. And that's obviously going to lead to a more fulfilling sex life. <laughs> the fifth way that the erotic languages help you discover what you want and like sexually is that it helps you heal past sexual trauma. By focusing on what brings you pleasure and comfort, you're going to stop living in the past and you're going to begin creating a new sexual identity about your erotic nature instead of perpetuating an old story or a disempowering identity. When you drop that shame, guilt, and fear about what you want and like, you are freeing yourself of the old story, the old narrative. 
you are no longer thinking that there's something wrong with you, that you're sexually broken, that you're a weirdo. You start to understand that all of these languages are totally natural and normal. And without that guilt, shame, fear, if you've had a lot of that from past sexual traumas or just negative conditioning around sex in general, then it's going to really allow you to step out of a victim mentality into a more empowering identity, which is what I help people do every day. So this is this is the crux of what this sexuality work is all about, is helping you to step into an empowering and updated and new sexual identity instead of the old disempowering one. So that wraps up the five different ways that the erotic languages help you discover what you want and like sexually. So if this resonates, go book that erotic language assessment call at the link in the show notes and let's hop on a call and discover what is your core erotic language and what might your stacking be. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Bye.